Uh, now the time is to discuss about the water resource, rivers, lakes, and subsurface waters of Ethiopia. Uh, so uh, from these uh, uh, subtitles, there are different concepts about the uh, rivers of Ethiopia and it is characteristics of the rivers. Uh, so uh, as we know, uh, just Ethiopia has uh, many international and also uh, national rivers which uh, rise from the Ethiopian highlands. And uh, we do have different lakes, Rift Valley and Highland, Highland Lakes. So due to uh, the situation, due to that of the availability of those water portion, uh, we say Ethiopia is the uh, water tower of East Africa. Uh, we remember before, uh, we have been discussed those concepts. Now, uh, uh, let us see about the Ethiopian rivers, just the Ethiopian rivers, uh, what the concept is here uh, from uh, this one. So uh, Ethiopia is endowed with many rivers. Yeah, we told many times, just this is very factual and obvious for you, uh, just uh, no need to uh, go further. Uh, ma majority of the rivers originate from the highland areas we discussed before, yeah? Yeah, majority of our river, they are originated from, they are sourced from the Ethiopian Highlanders, from the Western and Southeastern Highlanders. So uh, cross the Ethiopian boundary. Most of uh, the river we have, uh, they crossed the, uh, our boundary or we call them as an international rivers. Uh, the Ethiopian river from just, they have, uh, I think 12 major watersheds. So uh, they form, those rivers, they form two major, major watersheds. Uh, so uh, we do have, uh, they have different sections. So uh, that when we uh, divide those sections, as this, it has uh, 12 watersheds. Uh, those rivers, they made 12 watersheds. <coughs> So uh, the basic concept, uh, the other concept is uh, the general characteristics of Ethiopian river. For instance, uh, I think many of the Ethiopian rivers we told, we discussed uh, uh, just uh, with uh, within uh, different times. So uh, due to these characteristics, for instance, the highland nature of the Ethiopian landmass. Uh, most of just the Ethiopian land mass is uh, in terms of this proportion, I think 56% uh, is uh, covered by highland and the 44% is uh, or, uh, lowland. So from this uh, proportion, just uh, we can uh, sum up most of the Ethiopian uh, just uh, entire land, which is covered by the mountain or highland, we can say. So there are those islands, they have surface ruggedness. There are surface ruggedness up in the down or the mountains that have a terrain or they, are, they made a, a chain system with the other clusters, uh, cluster mountain. So the outward inclinations of the highland, the uh, highland, uh, it, it has a character of uh, inclination, inclination. The climate condition by itself with the combinations of those uh, elements. So these are the reason uh, why uh, Ethiopian river have different characteristics. So uh, having those uh, characteristics, just having those elements, the Ethiopian uh, river, they uh, have different characteristics. Uh, just as a result of those concepts, Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopian river, they have different characteristics. So, uh, the first characteristics of the Ethiopian river is uh, they are uh, originated from the highland. Most of the Ethiopian river, they uh, uh, source it from, uh, they're starting, they're flowing uh, from the Ethiopian highland. So uh, an elevation greater than 1,500 meter above sea level. This one is the first characteristics. The, the other, the transboundary, uh, that is transboundary means most of our rivers, for instance, the Ganali River, the Webshabali River, Takazi River, the Abai River, the Barakobo River, and uh, the others river, the others river, th those rivers, the Gibe Omo rivers, with the exception, with the exceptions of this one, but the Western uh, rivers, they cross 
uh, our uh, borders and they flow into uh, the uh, uh, west uh, to, to, to the other African countries. So we consider uh, most of uh, the river we have, they are uh, transboundary uh, river or uninternational uh, rivers. Uh, the, uh, the other characteristic, extreme seasonal fluctuation, uh, the most of our rivers, they have uh, a seasonal character, seasonal fluctuation. So uh, uh, within the uh, winter season, uh, the volumes of those rivers, they reduced. And within the summer season, uh, due to that of the availability of excessive rain, the volumes of the water, it become uh, increasing, increasing. So this is the one character. Tip. So this is during the wheat season, it, uh, the runoff is very high. Uh, dry season, uh, the runoff, it become uh, dry up. Or, or so the, the rivers, the volumes of the river, it become uh, decreased during the dry time, but uh, increase. Uh, and increase higher and higher within the summer season. This is the other characteristics of the Ethiopian River. Rapids and water force, uh, very speedy water, uh, very speedy because, uh, be because of most of the, uh, our rivers they uh, sourced from the Ethiopian Highland. So uh, due to that of the steep, snow, steep slopeness of the land, uh, the rivers they are very speedy, speedy, uh, and fl flow uh, in a speedy way, due to one is the topographical situation, and uh, the other is they are also from the highlands. Uh, this one, and waterfalls, uh, yeah, most of the river they have a waterfalls uh, that is along their course. Uh, that is. Uh, they have also uh, the cuts. They have cut steep-sided river valleys and deep gorges along their courses. There are uh, cut steep-sided river valleys. There are different uh, steep-sided river valleys and deep gorges. Uh, just these are uh, also some one character. The rivers uh, in Ethiopia flow on the steep slopes, just the, the others, steep slopes. That is why just we talked a lot of time, just we do have uh, big, uh, high, high mountains in terms of this proportion. There are uh, much of the elevated ground of Africa, which is found in Ethiopia. That is why our country is full of mountains. So, uh, so uh, those mountains, they are the source of Ethiopian rivers and they have a steep slopes, steep slopes. Uh, so the other character, the rivers serve as a boundaries for rivers. Most of uh, our rivers they are uh, serve as an international boundaries and domestic boundaries. For understand the Tekezi and uh, here the uh, Tekezi and the Amara region and also uh, the Oromia region with the uh, 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 Amara region that's separated by the Abai rivers uh, by, by Abai, Go, Abai Gorge. Uh, this is uh, also internationally also uh, it serves as uh, a demarcation, a demarcation. So what the other concept, uh, the major rivers here, for instance, we uh, just, we discussed about uh, in terms of the catchment area, for instance, this is in terms of catchment area uh, coverage, in terms of this catchment area, uh, in terms of this catchment area, this is the catchment area for Awash, uh, the most utilized river from uh, the Rift Valley drainage system. Takaze is at Bara, at uh, Sudan. Uh, just this one, Baro Akobo is so bad at uh, South Sudan. Uh, just give it almost its impeti into Lake Turkana. You can see Awash is uh, an inland within Ethiopia, or uh, just this one. Uh, this was. Uh, this is also Lake Turkana. It is impeded impe it impede into the Lake, Lake Turkana. So you can see the Ganale Dawa uh, directly impede into the Indian Ocean system. Wabi Shabali just, uh, it has a sipping problem. Even though it has a sipping problem, uh, finally it impede into uh, the Indian Ocean system, but uh, it is not directly impede into or flow into the Indian Oceans. Indian Ocean, but it has a, a seeping problem at the swales of Somalia. So uh, in terms of this catchment area, uh, catchment coverage area, Wabi Shabali is the largest one, the largest compared to the rest of the uh, Ethiopian rivers. And in terms of within the distance, within the country, uh, Wabi Shabali also the longest, the longest in Ethiopia. 
But in terms of this Africa and uh, just uh, in terms of this distance, uh, Abai or uh, just Abai the, the, or Nile is the uh, longest river. It has a tributary of, for instance, there are tributaries. This is the Mediterranean system we can say. Sometimes uh, some um, just, uh, just the reference material, they uh, classified the Ethiopian drainage system into the, the, the Mediterranean drainage system, the one, the uh, Indian drainage system, and the inland drainage system. This is uh, the reference material classification, what we uh, been known before. So uh, these are the major tributaries for instance, Davos, the Desa, Fincha, Gudar, Mugar, Jema, and Beshlo. These are, uh, I think the seven of them are the tributaries of the Abai, you can. Uh, this is for the Ganali River for instance, this is Wab Shabali, Ramis Ira, Dakta Fa, 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 Fafana. Uh, just uh, Ganali River, uh, this is, uh, it is named as after it in pity into or join, uh, it, it follows and reaches at the soils of Somali, Somali Republic, Somali soil, Somali Republic soil, uh, named as Juba River. Uh, don't forget this concept. So uh, these are uh, Dawa, Web, uh, Walmel, and Manna is, uh, are, are the sources of uh, the, the, the tributaries of the uh, Ganali River. Awash River, that is Akaki, Kasam, and Borkana, and Mille, these are Guang and Angarab River for this one, uh, the Takazi, and Give and Omo, that is Gojeb is uh, the tributary, and Akobo is uh, for the Baro Akobo. Akobo. So these are uh, the main, uh, just in terms of the main tributaries for the Western and the Southeastern drainage system. But for when we talk about the inland drainage system uh, or uh, the Rift Valley drainage system, they are, they are not following outside uh, the streams, which is uh, uh, flow from the Western escarpment and the Eastern escarpment of the Southeastern Highlanders and the uh, escarpment from the Western uh, Highlanders, it flows into the Rift Valley Lake. So uh, those uh, lakes, uh, they are, uh, uh, the, they, they, they are not flowing, they are not uh, flowing outside uh, the Rift Valley. It means the water, they still, the streams, they rem remind or flow in inside the Rift Valley, Rift Valley region. So this is, we do have different lakes. We talked before, there are uh, Rift Valley lakes. So uh, those Rift Valley, they, they were just, all lakes are results of the tectonic process within the Quaternary period, uh, especially within the Sinozoic era. So most of the Rift Valley, uh, just even though uh, their formation were undertake place in the tertiary period, but the water were filled in the Quaternary period. So uh, this was uh, some of the exceptions of uh, uh, exceptional characteristics for the Rift Valley lakes. Uh, there's uh, just except few Ethiopian lakes with the exceptions of the few Ethiopian lakes, just I told you, there are uh, the Highland and the Rift Valley Lake. When we see the Ethiopian lakes, just we, we should have to classify uh, into two. The one is the Rift Valley Lake, the other is the Highland Lake we talked before. So uh, this is the majority of Ethiopian lakes they are situated uh, along the Rift Valley lines. This is the concept. Uh, so Lake Tana is just from the Highland, to, uh, from the total from the whole, the whole Ethiopian lakes, uh, when we uh, ask you just uh, ask which one is the largest lake in Ethiopia, just you uh, should have to answer uh, Lake Tana is the largest, but when I ask you just uh, uh, which one is the largest lake from the Rift Valley Lake, Avia is the largest from the Rift Valley, this one, and the shallows, the deepest, the deepest, just don't forget those concepts. The, sh the sh shallowest, uh, just the wide, the shallowest one, the deepest one is shallow from the Rift Valley Lake. We discussed this one. So there are different crater lakes. We talked uh, near to the Adama area. There are near to the Bishaftu, there are Babugaya, Hora, and others. Once near to Ambo, there are, those are hike near to the sea. And also uh, there are also uh, uh, 
crater lake uh, at the top of the Zuquala mountain. Zuquala mountain near to, next to the Adama Debrazeti areas. So uh, this is uh, Lake Ashengi, also the other uh, lakes, the highland lake, which is found in Tigray. So these are, anyhow, just uh, to sum up them, those concepts, we do have a uh, uh, highland lake and uh, the lowland, the rift valley lake. So, uh, which means the name which is uh, uh, given to them uh, because of the, uh, the, uh, the lakes which is lies or situated at the highland, we call that highland lakes. Uh, the lakes which is situated along the Rift Valley areas, we, we, can, we say uh, those lakes are the Rift Valley lakes. So uh, there are uh, different lakes, for instance, we do have, uh, uh, yes, uh, just, we talked before uh, the lakes which was formed naturally, but now oh, just we do have also an additional man-made lakes which is constructed for uh, dif uh, constructed in different time for different purpose, uh, mainly for hydroelectric purpose. So we do have lake uh, lakes uh, Lake Oka, Oka, Fincha. We do have Malkawakana, and uh, there are also different uh, lakes. We do have uh, man-made lakes. So. Uh, the most just uh, known, they are Malkawakana and Fincha and Lex Coca. Purposely, they are constructed for hydroelectric power generation. Uh, so uh, you can. Uh, there are, uh, here is, those lakes, they are constructed mainly for the hydroelectric power potentials. You can. Lake Abaya, just I told you, the, you must have a clear understanding on those concepts, the largest lake from the Rift Valley. Uh, lakes. Uh, just uh, here is just we uh, also uh, divided the Ethiopia, the Rift Valley lakes the, uh, at the Afar Triangle areas. There are lakes Afrera and uh, Afrera and Asal. And uh, at the main Rift Valley areas, we seen uh, there are different lakes which is uh, situated south of the Awash River uh, up to the Konso areas. Konso uh, Highlands, so the con from the Konso Highland, uh, the northern Konso Highland up to the Lake Turkana. This is another classification, the Chobahar uh, Rift Valley areas. And uh, from the uh, Konso Highland up to the northern or south of the Afar Triangle uh, or northern Awash, uh, that area is the main Rift Valley, uh, uh, just main Rift Valley areas. So uh, at the main rift valleys, uh, at the main rift valley areas, there are lots of uh, rift valley lakes. Just don't forget those concepts. We discuss the detail, mm, uh, and, uh, just the detail, the detail of them. So there are uh, at the Chobaharira, there are Sagan and Waito lakes. Uh, there are Shala Zuai, and uh, there are also near to the Bab near to Adama uh, Adama areas. Uh, near to the Brazil area, there are uh, different uh, Rift Valley lakes. So we discussed uh, before. So no need to uh, repeat and again and again uh, those concepts. You can conceptualize uh, from the previous discussion. Uh, for instance, you can see, uh, yeah, from Tana is the largest uh, in terms of this uh, area coverage. 3,600 kilometers square. Just this is the area of uh, Lake Tana, the largest one from uh, the total Rift Valley. But uh, when we say just from the Rift Valley, Abia is the largest from the Rift Valley Lake. This is uh, uh, this one. We discuss about uh, Chamo, Chamo for fishing production before. Uh, just we are utilizing for fishing production Tana and Chamo, uh, and. Uh, just do I the shallowest lake in terms of this distance uh, from your material, uh, 8.95 meters, but deep, deepness it has, but uh, from the other reference material for four meters, four meters. So how it's shallow for, uh, to, to the outer uh, surface of the earth. So um, this one is the shallowest, this one is the deepest, you can see those concepts. The shallowest one is dry, the deepest one is shallow here from the uh, Rift Valley Lakes, so you can. Okay, just this one is uh, the other hydroelectric power potential dam. Uh, this is the others. 
these are the, some of the concepts we discussed. In terms of surface or groundwater potential, resource of Ethiopia, uh, uh, let us see uh, the concept of this surface or groundwater uh, resource of Ethiopia. When we talked about this one, just uh, as compared to the surface water resource, com compared to the surface water resource, we do have just Ethiopia has lower groundwater potentials in terms of surface water potential, just groundwater and surface. When we outweigh them, just in terms of it is a potentiality, we do have uh, a little ground potentials. Uh, just why? Just uh, topography also by itself, it has uh, own contribution about uh, the availability of the ground potential because of uh, our topography is mostly covered by the mountain. That mountain just, it, um, it, it, it's uh, unable to retain, retain the rainfall. Uh, it just uh, retain the rainfall uh, or uh, just uh, the droplets of the rain just uh, they uh, uh, made made a runoff and that runoff is joined to the rivers and uh, finally it uh, it flows to the uh, different direction uh, due to that of the steep slopes uh, steep slope situations of the Ethiopian topography. So due to this reason, uh, the ground potentiality the ground potentiality is very uh, very 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 ground potential is uh, just uh, compared to the surface water, it is uh, low, low. So, but uh, we do have just, there exists, there exists higher total exploitable groundwater potential, but uh, it, uh, just we do have uh, exploitable groundwater potential if we uh, do uh, better and better uh, and implement different mechanisms. Because of climatic condition, we do have a better climate condition, a rainfall situation. And uh, so uh, if we do different mechanism to retain uh, the potentials of rain uh, and made a seeping, a seeping to the ground, uh, we can. Uh, or uh, if we do just uh, percolations of water uh, to, to percolate water into the ground, by, the, by implementing different mechanisms, we will have, uh, uh, we will improve our ground potential uh, potentials. So this is, uh, so the climatic condition and the geophysical uh, condition determine the ability of groundwater uh, resource. Most of the time, the groundwater resource, which is determined, this is, uh, this concept is, which is, uh, which it has a direct relation to the, this concept. Uh, just um, I try to explain you uh, the climatic condition. Uh, we do have a better climate condition compared to the others. That is why Ethiopia is the water tower of East Africa. Uh, and the geophysical geophysical uh, condition by itself, it, uh, it determines the ground uh, water potentials. So if we do uh, different mechanism to percolate the rain waters into the ground, by implementing different mechanisms, we will return uh, or uh, to improve our just ground potentials. This is so the study shows us uh, there are uh, our ground water potential is uh, two po from from 2.6 up to 6.5 billion metric cube. We do have this one, so this number is very smallest uh, smallest number. Uh, this one in terms of this uh, when we express this number, just this very we do have a small proportions of groundwater, but some studies also, this is under, uh, underestimated, underestimated uh, ex expression. But some studies also shows us uh, there are, uh, we do have a better potentials. We, uh, that uh, study, it shows us the water potentiality. We do have uh, groundwater potentialities to all, up to 30 billion meter cube we do have. Uh, this other study also. So anyhow, this uh, study, uh, it just shows us uh, if we do uh, uh, just different strategy, we do have a better climatic condition. Uh, that climate condition, it can uh, emanate uh, uh, different, uh, just emanate different uh, or good potential uh, for the, uh, 
good potential for the uh, under the, the the groundwater, or it, it can bring a good a good uh, it can bring to having uh, uh, just a better uh, groundwater potential if we implement different things. This one. The other concept is uh, just uh, the other. This is, I think, the last concept for us for uh, the discussion. Water resource potential and development in Ethiopia. Just water resource potential and development in Ethiopia. Just we do have a better water potential, but what uh, for what purpose we are utilizing those uh, waters? For instance, we do have hydroelectric potential. Just uh, this is hydroelectric potential. We are uh, using different rivers for uh, hydroelectric power generation. So uh, besides to this water potential, we do have for hyd hydroelectric power uh, potential. We can uh, good potential, wind potential. We do have geothermal potential. We do have uh, to uh, generate hydroelectric power, but uh, still we are uh, underutilized those resources, those potentials. But from the water, we are just starting to use uh, to generate a maximum uh, uh, megawatts I, I had, uh, electricity. So uh, uh, we do have a potential from hydroelectric power potential. Uh, our water rivers, they are favorable for uh, hydroelectric power generation. Just in terms of transportation, it, uh, even though it has a deficit, but in terms of the hydroelectric power, uh, power potential and constructions of the, the dam, most of the rivers, they are uh, just uh, they are very uh, just uh, uh, supportive character that they have. Uh, so we do have a potential to generate uh, this amount if we utilized uh, those rivers pot uh, fully, fully. So 4, 000, for uh, 45,000 megawatt we can generate if we utilize, we utilized uh, those rivers uh, fully. Uh, so. Uh, starting from the 1932, uh, 1932, uh, the first uh, dam were constructed near to Addis Ababa uh, or Akaiki River. So that is Abba Samuel. Uh, so this was the first uh, just historical development of uh, the Ethiopian hydroelectric power generation. So our hydroelectric power generation, which is which was constructed near to uh, the Addis Ababa, Akaiki areas, Abba Samuel is the first. Dam, so 1932. So, so the this is uh, and uh, we are also currently many uh, just we do have uh, currently many operating and many others are under construction. Uh, we are starting to utilize our rivers to generate hydroelectric powers. Uh, for instance, we do have uh, greater than 40 dams uh, uh, right now. Uh, from the uh, just um, the Derg regime up to the present one, were constructed from the Derg up to the present one. Uh, so within the Derg regime, there was different dams uh, within uh, before the Derg regime also, uh, 1932 within the Haile Selassie, Emperor Haile Selassie region, the Derg regime, and uh, the other, the EPRDF government also. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, currently, we do have we have uh, a big dam just that is uh, named as Grand uh, Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Uh, we are assuming uh, after we uh, finished uh, this dam, uh, it will generate us uh, six thousand four hundred megawatts. So this is uh, the largest dam, uh, uh, just not only in Ethiopia, uh, the largest in in Africa. Uh, so. Uh, this is the one. Uh, the other concept is uh, these are uh, some of the dams. Uh, Lake Abba Samuel, just uh, this is uh, the one dam which is near to Akaiki River, Koka and Tisaba, uh, Awash, Malkawakana, uh, and also there are Gibe one, two, three, uh, Fincha. Uh, this is this is. Uh, from the Gibe and the Omo, there are one, two, three, and Tanabales also need to uh, hear Fahadar areas, Takazi, also the others. Uh, this is, these are some of uh, the hydroelectric powers that are currently, uh, currently we are utilizing them to generate hydroelectric powers. Uh, so we'd have a good potential, but 
uh, still were uh, we able to generate uh, 4,500 4, megawatts only, uh, but we do have 45,000 uh, megawatt potential. The major problems of the Ethiopian, uh, those lakes, those lakes, uh, hydroelectric power, uh, those uh, man-made lakes, uh, that is, uh, or to generate the hydroelectric power, uh, we do have the major problems are seasonal flow fluctuations. Our rivers, we talked about this one, they are dry in the dry time, the winter time, but uh, uh, they have a better volume in the uh, summer season. So uh, the other is climate change and variability, climate change and variability. Climate change is the factor for the variability of the rivers. Uh, this is seasonal variability also. And severe erosion from the highlands and the sedimentation process. Uh, this is uh, most of our reservoir, uh, 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 it, uh, it got a problem due to that of uh, a severe erosion, uh, which is uh, sourced from the Ethiopian highlands and uh, it filled by uh, different sediments. These, these, uh, these are some of the problems of the Ethiopian uh, man-made lakes. Uh, just this is uh, to generate the uh, hydroelectric power. Uh, most of uh, our problem just uh, uh, relates to uh, 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 in this concept, in this concept. So uh, take um, just a simple understanding on those concepts. Uh, just these are the major problems of the Ethiopian uh, dams uh, in order to construct, in order to generate uh, hydroelectric powers. This is the defect. Irrigation and transportation. Uh, for instance, uh, irrigation and transportation, we are utilizing, uh, we are underutilizing uh, most of our rivers, but the only river we are utilizing for irrigation purpose Awash River is the only river, but uh, for to the future we do have uh, great poten good potentials if we are utilizing uh, those rivers. They flow into the east direction and the west direction. So uh, we do have Takazi potentials. We do have up by Baro Akobo is uh, also it has a, an extensive uh, lowlands and uh, for uh, modernized agriculture it is very favorable Baro Akobo for irrigation purpose and also Awash and Ganali River also, but uh, it is uh, just we're using uh, minute proportion uh, for irrigation purpose. Uh, so this is uh, in the highland, for instance, uh, the record that limited the, uh, the use of the and river was for irrigation and transportation. Just this is uh, ruggedness. The Ethiopian uh, terrain means one, the mountain, they have a diversified topography. One is peak and next to that down and peak down. Different chains, the mountain, they have different chains. So the, having uh, such different terrain, uh, it, it, it is an obstacle for uh, using uh, transportation and uh, irrigation, uh, this one, irrigation. Just irrigation is very difficult at uh, the highland, uh, but it is possible to at the lowland. For, so most of our land, which is covered by the highland, so that is uh, most of uh, uh, our river just uh, problemed, uh, just we got a problem to use for irrigation purpose uh, for due to, due to uh, such co context, such context. So uh, in terms of transportation, deep gorges and the speed of the river, waterfalls, uh, and uh, the steep slopes of the, uh, just the source of the steep slopeness of the uh, uh, landscape. That is, uh, it will not support to use uh, those river for transportation purpose. This is, in the highland, there are steep slope, rapids, waterfalls, narrow and deep valleys, gorges, that is, are the most uh, just uh, obstacles, important obstacles to use transportation purpose. Lowland, their demand for irrigation is very high. Lowland is for sun, their demand for irrigation is very high. Lowland is very, very favorable for uh, irrigation purpose, but we are not using those lands uh, and those rivers uh, just uh, still. So, but the future we do have a good prospect to utilize if we utilize 
those rivers uh, for irrigation purpose. And uh, even we do have uh, an extensive lowland uh, which is uh, crossed by those uh, uh, international rivers. So in terms of irrigation, we do have a good potential, but we are uh, still, uh, we are underutilized those rivers for irrigation purpose, but the only, with the exception, uh, just the exception, we are uh, only utilized the Awash River for irrigation purpose at Somali, Somali and uh, as Somali and uh, Somali region and the Afar regions. Uh, uh, just we do have these uh, potentials, just 5.3 million hectare potential. Uh, we do have just uh, Ethiopia potential of irrigation estimated to, we do have just uh, such kind of uh, 5.3 billion million, million hectares, uh, hectares of land uh, we do have if we uh, use, use uh, our rivers, we can uh, cultivate those lands. The Barako, for instance, and Ganali Dao have, have large irrigation potential compared to the other basins. Barako, yeah, we uh, just uh, more than 60% of the area under irrigation so far, uh, just despite the untapped irrigation practice, uh, more than 60% of the area under irrigation so far is located Rift Valley drainage system. So, this concept is a very bloated concept. So uh, main, uh, just you can highlight this one. 60% of our irrigation, just uh, our irrigation, the irrigation, uh, just uh, our irrigation is located to the Rift Valley areas. No. Uh, so we are untapped irrigation system, but uh, we do have 60% uh, of the uh, currently, just we are cultivating 60% by using irrigation cultivated, the area which is belong to the Rift Valley area. This is. Uh, so uh, since it is majority of the Ethiopian transport, majority of the Ethiopian river is uh, not favorable for transportation. We uh, not suitable for transportation purpose, but uh, the Barwe is, uh, Barwe is the only river uh, just it gives a transportation system, the transportation service. Uh, just uh, comparatively, Ethiopia lakes are much suitable for transportation transportation than the rivers. When you compare, the, the lakes are better uh, than um, the rivers of Ethiopia for transport, water transportation purpose. Uh, we are utilizing the different lakes. Just we discussed uh, about that of the transportation by using the lakes. Lake Tana and um, Abia, it gives a transportation system. Uh, but now, recently, just we are utilizing the, the different lakes for recreational or tourism purpose by using the small boats. For instance, there are Lake Zuai, Lake um, Langano, and Hawasa, near to Hawasa, Chamo, and Abia. Also, uh, there are small boats. Uh, just it gives a service for the tourists uh, to entertain. Uh, uh, their minds or to refresh their minds. Uh, so this one, the one concept. Lake Tana and Abia from the Rift Valley, just from the lakes, Lake Tana and Abia, they uh, give uh, a transportation, they are giving a transportation purpose, water transportation purpose, but uh, this one is the major, but the rest for small boats, they give a service for uh, recreation purpose or tourism purpose. The majority of, of, in terms of fishing and recreation, just uh, majority of Ethiopian lakes are rich in fish, but we are uh, not using those uh, those uh, lakes for uh, fish production, but the only uh, uh, lakes we are uh, using to uh, produce uh, a fish, fish production, just the only one, uh, Lake Tana and uh, Lake, uh, Lake Chamo. Just uh, this one, we do have this potential 31.5 thousand tons annually we can, but uh, little exploitable uh, or little uh, exploit, uh, use, utilized those lakes to, to produce uh, a fish, a fish, a fish product, fish product. Uh, so, uh, there are uh, exploitable 
exploitable fish potential in the lakes are different, uh, but uh, Tana has a potential to uh, produce, able to produce 8,000 8, up to 10,000 annually, uh, tons annually. This is uh, the one. Fish production from uh, forestance from the uh, fish production from the Lake Chamo, uh, uh, it has the potential to produce this one, estimated for uh, 1,500 tons per year. Uh, so, uh, however, just uh, those are for understand uh, they have uh, a good potential uh, to produce uh, fish, fish. But, uh, however, more than 60% of the fish, uh, the fish uh, currently supplies, uh, the fish supplies are coming from the uh, Ethiopian main Rift Valley lakes, from the uh, Rift Valley lakes, from the Rift Valley. Just, I told you, just now it is, uh, even though uh, Avia and this uh, Tana and Chamo has a good potential to produce fish, but uh, other small lakes, they are starting to uh, produce uh, fish. Lake Dwai, uh, from Lake Dwai, Lake Hawasa, uh, there are uh, also uh, from the uh, Chamo and other lakes, they are starting to uh, produce uh, lakes, uh, produce fish uh, to uh, the local consumption, the local consumption. So this one. Uh, some of the lakes are just uh, uh, threatened by due to that of uh, underestimated. Uh, the fish production is underestimated or uh, just uh, not fully exploited due to different purpose, due, due to different factors. So most of the fish production sites, uh, they are filled by sedimentation. This is the factor for uh, the lakes. Invasive species, water hyacinth. Water hyacinth is the other uh, factor. Over exploitations of uh, the uh, uh, lakes, the lakes just over exploitation. Uh, just over exploitation means people who are near to uh, the rift, uh, near to the lakes, uh, they are uh, they have an interest to utilize uh, just. Uh, the, the 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 buffer the buffer the buffer land is for agricultural purpose. So, if those people they plow those uh, land is for agricultural purpose, uh, may the uh, soils from the agricultural land uh, it will exposed and uh, erode to uh, to to uh, the lakes uh, and it filled uh, as a sedimentation as a sediment. So uh, this one is over exploitation, the one uh, factor over exploitation. And also different, uh, uh, different also over exploitation for uh, different, uh, yeah, uh, wastes and just wastes. Either the liquid waste, uh, the solid waste they uh, uh, dump into uh, the lakes uh, region. So that one is the other problems for uh, the lake, which is uh, situated near to the uh, town or the city. For understand the typical uh, just Lake Tana also, uh, Hawasa and others, which is nearer to the city, uh, they mostly affected uh, by uh, those problems. Expansions of investment around the lakes. There are different lodges for understand different lodges uh, agriculture investment is uh, different lodge, uh, which is near to the Lake Tana, for instance, and uh, there are different constructions uh, and different uh, mechanized agriculture undertaking near to the uh, lakes. Uh, these are uh, some of the problems, the problems, uh, the housing, uh, just uh, constructions of uh, house, uh, or residence, or that is uh, different lodge or hotels, resort hotels near to the uh, lakes. Uh, these are the main problems uh, just uh, uh, for the lakes, either for the Rift Valley lakes or uh, the Highland lakes. Especially Lake Tana is uh, just mostly affected by the uh, investment problem. Recreation purpose for instance, uh, just uh, the water potentials, just we do have a recreation purpose. We do, uh, it, it has uh, a recreation potential. For understand the Rift Valley, we talked 
there are different uh, fish, birds, and other aquatic life. F just there are different uh, the Rift Valley areas, which is endowed by the uh, bird species, bird species, and also the beautiness of the lake by itself uh, it attracts us and it uh, attracts us, uh, either the domestic or the national, the international tourists. So, uh, so these are a good potential for uh, tourism development, recreation purpose. There are uh, hot spring and fumaroles near to the uh, Af the uh, Rift Valley areas along the Rift Valley area. So, for instance, there are uh, recreation sites uh, of hot spring like Soderi and Wondogannet. This is a typical example for uh, recreational purpose from this one. So Rift Valley areas, uh, they are endowed with bird, uh, fish, and others. Uh, it is very, uh, so those, those, those uh, potential, they have uh, a good, they have, they have a good potential, they have a good potential to attract the tourists, either the, the domestic tourists or the, the international tourists, this one. Uh, scenic beauty uh, of the lakes by itself, scenic beauty of the lakes, the scenery of the lakes by itself for recreation purpose by using different people they went to there and uh, utilized uh, the smallest uh, boats uh, to uh, cross the, to, to, to refresh themselves and they're, they, 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 they're crossing them uh, using those boats. Uh, so, uh, this one is the refreshment uh, for ref beauty of the lakes. Th that is, it is uh, uh, also, uh, it is one, uh, it is uh, just a one att uh, attraction site. This is, the other, the hot spring and femoralus, uh, this one I mentioned to you, there are hot spring and femoral for understand, go to the far areas. There are volcanic eruptions. And there are also uh, along the Rift Valley, the main Rift Valley, there are different uh, femoralus and hot springs. Uh, so that hot spring and femoralus is very uh, just, uh, it has a potential to attract a lot of tourists and uh, it gives uh, uh, a recreational value to the tourists. So uh, the spectacular river gorges, we do have uh, different gorges at the uh, rivers of Ethiopia. So for instance, that is South Falls and uh, other rivers also, they have their own uh, gorges. Uh, so uh, deepest and deepest and steepest slope, these are the good scenery for the, the tourists. So the mountain by itself, it creates an amusing, uh, just uh, an amusing, uh, sink uh, or uh, views to the to to, to the domestic and the international tourists. To this one, the most impressive waterfalls, for instance, this one, the most impressive waterfalls we do have at the Semen Mountain. We do have in uh, the South Falls and go to the southern portion also. We do have the Valley Mountains also. They have their own. For instance, the South Cave also by itself it has uh, uh, yeah it has a good scenery to attract. Uh, just a tourist. And the different lakes, what we talked before, just those lakes, they have uh, just a good scenery to, 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 to attract uh, both the international and domestic tourists. Even the hot spring and the femoralus, but the species go to the area for understand there are uh, Galila Icelanders, that Iceland which is filled by a different species of birds. Uh, the Samir mountain also by itself, it has different uh, in just uh, different bird species with the, just including the Lamargair also over there, just this one. And go to the different national park, we do have different, uh, yeah, uh, both fauna and uh, flora species. So these are a good potential for uh, tourism development. Variety of wildlife, for instance, we do have some of uh, which are uh, endemic to Ethiopia. Just, we do have different variety of wildlife, both flora and fauna, different plant species we do have from the um, plant species, uh, around just 8,000 8, 8, of plant species, just, uh, yeah, um, just uh, there are, we do have different uh, plant species from that. Uh, uh, yeah, different, for instance, plant species, they are endemic to Ethiopia, for instance, uh, the giant lobelia. 
Ivora arborica and uh, some others flowering plant which is endemic to Ethiopia and uh, typical they are dominant in the highlands. And the others, uh, for instance, in terms of uh, Funa, there are Wale, Ibex, Chalada Babu, and Ethiopian Wolf, uh, and uh, just uh, Lamargair also. Those are uh, the endemic, the endemic uh, animal which is dominated at the Samir Mountain. Mount Niala, also the others. And uh, Minilik Bush Park, uh, such. And the different national park also, we do have different uh, uh, just game animals, game, reserve, game animals like giraffes and uh, the other zebras we do have in the uh, Southern uh, National Park. So we do have different 21 national parks, more than 21 national park. Those national park, we consider them as a potential for our uh, future tourism development. Uh, just if we uh, uh, conserve uh, them better, in better way. So, uh, so those uh, potentials are uh, just uh, an important recreational and tourist attractions. Uh, so Ethiopia, uh, just totally, we can say Ethiopia is endowed with different uh, tourism attractions, both natural and cultural attraction. We do have. So from the natural, the Rift Valley areas, the Ethiopian topography by itself, the waterfalls, uh, this one, and the hot spring, the femoralos, and the other, the volcanic eruption. From the wild animals we see also, there are uh, different endemic animals, uh, who, which are dominated at the highland and the lowlands, and, uh, and dominated at the, they are living in the national parks. We do have 21 national park. So, uh, those are uh, a good potential for our tourism development in terms of recreation. We do have a different uh, potentials and able to catch uh, both international and international and domestic tourists. Uh, so these are some of the concepts. Uh, there, so those values, they are, their value for scenic purposes imminent for instance, having those uh, potentials uh, those potential, they have uh, an imminence, imminence potential, purpose is imminence, means that is a lot of potential we do have, imminence, and uh, explainable, uh, and uh, just uh, simply just unable to express what we do have because of uh, the diversity of our uh, tourism potentials, that is imminence potential we do have. So uh, these are uh, some of the concepts uh, 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 for uh, the uh, DICE lesson. And thank you for uh, the attention you've given, you given me. And uh, uh, just I wish you have a nice time and we'll meet uh, for the next uh, uh, chapter. Thank you.